to drum and bass for a very long time. I've done it since I was little, I've always been into the jungle vibe, but 160 listening to Reiki, Hive, and Zing back on the radio on extra show. There's other genres, but none of it really touches you like drum and bass, you know what I'm saying? So it's inspired me to DJs, it's inspired me to produce music. So I just started getting into it through uh, dubstep initially. I started listening to that in the sixth form. I started moving to like Casper and Oscar albums, Fabric Live, Temple like DJ Hype. And then I started going to like old school raves, old school jungle raves at like, university, fell in love with the scene even more. And then yeah, I just thought, let's crack on with it. And I'm cracking on my own solo production. We'll sort of see where it goes now. Khaled G actually messaged me on SoundCloud, yeah. probably, and uh, he just said, yeah, the mixes are cool, want to get together, more good mates, been together a lot, a lot of race together, a lot of mixing together, a lot of yeah. production together, so. Plenty more to come next year. I've known Ravy MC for ages years now. I met him at Outlook Festival and we started going Raven at Fabric together. We always joked about starting a label, so we just started reaching out to people in the scene, over SoundCloud, pretty much everyone we uh, reached out to were with now still. I mean, Ravy just um, sort of done that for about four. Six months, picked up a lot of traction, a lot more than we expected. Then uh, by that time we've thrown our race with Jess here, Civil, and then, um, yeah, before we know it, he's on board with us. The main thing about Kojiki, it's not really about us as DJs, it's more about bringing unheard, unheard artists, uh, underground DJs, and they were not restricted to one type of drum base. Like if you've got Jump Up, if you've got Neuro, if you've got Liquid, Rollers, whatever you want to call it, we love them. Yeah, but what really makes us different is, like I said, the community ask any of our artists, man. Just the support everyone has for one another is what keeps us all together, man. We all speak to each other, we all share music, we all share production, what we're yeah. working on, and we're not restricting people, there's no contracts involved our record label. No, we've, we've put people on Juno, Beatport, Spotify, like all without any rights from there yeah. whatsoever. That's the main thing about Kojiki. If you think you like it, you want another set of beers on it, give it to us, we like it, it's going to get released. I've actually just finished my uh, first free track EP, which was Gas to Get Out there, my first piece of solo work. I'll probably release that in January. I've got uh, some very exciting news that I can't announce yet, but just, you'll hear very soon uh, what's coming with me and someone else on the label. We're just going to keep cracking on, put out a second album. We've got a few more songs in the works, a few more collaborations, and then just really. Try now down the events, you know. There's been a lot of stuff we've been working on, a lot of stuff we've been working on yeah. together. I've got a couple of collaborations with people that can't really say too much right now, but it will all come very clear very soon. Even more albums, even more guest mixes, we'll see, well, we'll get bigger names involved. We'll take the platform to the next level, you know. Yo, yo, it's Cali G. <laughs> and I'm Sybil. We're the G Records, and, and you're watching, watching Dub Pub. <laughs>